That's kind of the normal sound. Now let's go ahead and unpatch that modulation. Modulation. And let's go over to the output from here. And so there's that green waveform again going over into our uh, waveform, or sorry, waveform multiplier. And now let's take that and go into the oscillator. So I'm going to be patching into my oscilloscope and then going over to my A111. And here we go. I'm going to go in the same CV that we were a moment ago. And you can see right there the effect that's occurring. So it was once a sine wave. Now let's go in and sort of make some adjustments here. So you can get some very interesting type modulation signals generated by processing through the A137. Let's try adjusting the symmetry a little bit. So you can get quite a variety from just a basic sine wave. Right here I'm increasing the harmonics. And just to be clear, there's no actual rhyme or reason in case you're wondering the adjustments that I'm doing. I'm just kind of walking through a few basic adjustments just so you can kind of hear the types of sounds that can actually erupt from here. Kind of like that right there. And so you can see right there, that you can take a sign and take it into an almost kind of pulse shape if you wanted to. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take out from the sine wave and just go into our triangle wave and do a couple of examples with that. So there is our basic triangle wave going up and down. And let's actually unpatch from there so we can kind of hear, if we haven't heard this before, what a triangle wave modulating pitch would sound like. I'm gonna take copy of our triangle wave coming from over here now, go into pitch, so it's just up and down, there we go, alright, now let's take our process to go in, let's go ahead and do a little bit of modification, until we get something interesting. I'm going to try just experimenting and bring down the rate of our LFO. And then go back and adjust our folding level right there. So you can hear that you can get a lot of kind of sonic variety to your modulation signals. So if you want to do a little bit of strange modification to your modulation signals, this may be the module for you. Okay. 
So we're at about the 10 minute mark. Um, I think we've done quite a bit of, you know, just basic modulation with two different types of signals that sort of work ideally. Um, and you're probably curious what some of these other waveforms would do going in. So I'm going to go ahead and just demonstrate really quickly a pulse wave. And if it does what I expect, it's not going to do much. But I thought I, I thought it'd be useful to hear it anyway. So here we go. And let me just bring up the frequency a little bit. So you can see, even though I adjust over here, that it's not really changing the sound of my pulse signal. Let me unpatch it from, let's see, the bottom over here. So that's our basic pulse going in that I've set up over here at the A145. And then here's the modified version there in green. And you can see that it still has the overall shape of a pulse. It's shifted over, looks like. So when it's off, it's on, and when it's on, it's off. If, if my eyes don't deceive me. But for the most part, the harmonic adjustments over here are not really doing that much. They're not sort of mod modifying or mutilating our signal as much as when we were putting in a sine or a triangle. So at any rate, thought it would be good to kind of just throw that one in as well. I'm going to go ahead and bring down my audio uh, because that, in a nutshell, is going to be the first demonstration that we're doing. Um, in the next segment, we're going to be looking at an audio rate demo. So we're going to be taking some audio from our A111 over here, and we're going to be processing it into the A137 and hear some pretty interesting sounds. Uh, so I hope that you found this useful, you know, getting to see and hear uh, some of the effects that the A137 can produce on modulation signals. And hopefully you'll stay with us for the next demonstration where we do a little bit of audio rate signals through the A137. Thanks for watching.